Good morning everyone, how are you today? I just thought I'd come on and share um, my currently inked pens that I have. Now some of them are left over from late December when I inked up all of my fountain pen collection. Um, you can, there's video, there's a whole video on that. Um, that was quite the process, but it was also a lot of fun. Um, and I found I was reaching for a different pen each day. And when I write letters, I tend to um, use a different pen and ink for each page of the letter. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I just sort of come on today and share what I have left. Um, so let's get into it. So I'm hoping you can all see this. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we'll do those ones last. Okay. I'm just writing the heading for now. So this is going to be um, February 2023, 20, currently inked. I'll just put that one there for now. So first one we have is this little um, Kuwaiko Sport that I picked up for a bargain price um, here in Australia. Um, it was kind of like in the new year. And I'm actually using it as an eyedropper at the moment with um, a sample, an ink sample. So you can just pour the whole ink sample into the barrel of this pen and put silicon grease around the threads and use it as an eyedropper which is really handy so this is the first one so this is a Kaweco sport in black with a medium nib and it is inked with diatramentus Alexander Hamilton. This is a gorgeous ink. I have really been enjoying this sample, so I may even get another sample of this and to see if I still really like it and then get a bottle of it. Next one we have here is a Twisby Diamond 580 in the white rose gold. Um, it writes beautifully, this pen. Okay. So, Twisby. Diamond 580 with a medium nib and it is inked with Robert Oster Black Violet. Next one I have a really inexpensive pen but a really good writer. This is a Wing Sun Demonstrator and Blue with a fine nib. And it is inked with Tassia Ruri. The next one is, I am really fallen in love with this yellow ink, um, pen is a Twisby Eco in transparent yellow, it has a medium nib and it is inked with Robert Oster Honeybee. It's just the perfect yellow ink as far as I'm concerned. I'm really enjoying using it. I've uh, got another Twisby. got lots of Twisbys that are left in here. 
So this is the Twisby Eco in Smoke and Rose Gold. It has a broad nib and it is inked with Troublemaker Abalone. It's a beautiful ink, it, it shades. And it kind of throws off different colours as well. So some of these I've only got a little bit left in them. Um, next one, another Twisby, is a Twisby Eco Tea in mint. It has a 1.1 stub nib on it. And it is inked with Ferris Wheels Press Tumbling Time Blue. Okay. And some of these are shimmering, so I'm having to rotate them and move them around to sort of get all the shimmer working in them. This next one this is another Twisby Eco in transparent red. It also has a 1.1 stub nib on it. And it is inked with Ferris Wheel Press Ruby Royal Flush. And sort of misspelling up here, so I'm not meaning to. Got another Twisby Eco here. I sometimes like colour matching the inks to my pen, so you know, red ink in the transparent blossom, um, green ink in the jade because it's a green pen. This is a Twisby Eco in jade. It also has a one point stub nib and it's inked with an Australian ink Van Diemen's Apple Island Green It's been a lovely pairing that one I might have to move up a bit So next one, this is a really high shimmer ink. This is um, a dye mine ink, a dye mine shimmertastic ink. So I love this colour. This is actually a sample from a pen friend. So this is the Twisby Eco in Lilac with a broad nib and it is inked with dye mine shimmertastic uh, pink champagne one I have here is a another Twisby but a different kind of Twisby and this is I, lo I love this pen it really writes beautifully um, so this is the Twisby Go in clear it has a broad nib and it is inked with um, Roar and Clingers
Holt Gold Grim. It's a lovely green, this one. And the next one, this is, I think this is the last Twisby inked up for the batch. So this is um, the Twisby Swipe. It's also a really good rider. Twisby Swipe in Ice Blue. It also has a broad neck. And it is inked with Ponte Verde. Um, and it's the 2018 DC Super Show Blue. This um, this ink also has a bit of um, a red sheen to it as well. So I think Twisby's probably the brand that I have the most pens of, if that makes sense. I just really enjoy them. So this is first fountain pen I ever had. Um, this is a Lemmy Vista, whoops, clear demonstrator. Um, it has a fine nib and it is inked with Robert Oster River of Fire. Oh, sorry, you're not even seeing that. Very sorry about that. So well, how many have we got so far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we've got 12 so far. So there we go, we've got 12 so far. We'll go over to the next page. The next one we have the brown ink, but with this pen is a Lamy LX in Marin. It has a medium nib and it is inked with Noodler's Walnut. Which is quite a nice deep brown. Sorry, I just knocked you all there. Deep brown colour. Next pen is a Hong Dian um, in the dark forest green. Have a green ink in this one. So Hong Dian. Dark forest green. It's got a fine nib and it is inked with um, Sailor Shikiori Tokoamatsu. It's a really lovely ink as well lovely green. Next pen we have here is the Jinhao X750 in the purple. So Jinhao X750 purple. It has a medium nib and it is inked with Dome Mine on Bodice Hat. That's a really deep purple.
Next one we have is another Jinhao in the silver finish. It's a lighter purple colour. The ink that is. Um, silver, medium nib, inked with noodlers, purple, mountain, majesty. I think that's the correct name of it. So they're all the ones in the pen tray. Now you saw me talk about this in a previous video. This is um, my Just Turnings pen um, from that I received earlier in the week. Um, and it has been made to fit a Sailor Pro Gear Slim nib. So there you go. Um, So, just turnings. And this is a diamond cast, red gold. Gold. Um, and it has the Sailor Pro Gear Slim medium fine near and it is inked with sailor shikiori yamadori put that one back in there Next one I have is also a Just Turnings pen. It's got a really juicy nib on it. Just Turnings. Unicorn horn. A medium nib and it is inked with Pilot Aroshisuku Sutsuchi. It's a beautiful, bright, vibrant pink. Mm, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure that you can actually see this. Next one I have is also a Just Turnings one. I call it my matte rainbow. Mm. Matte rainbow. It also has a medium nib. And it is inked with uh, Diatramentus Violet a really good pairing for this this particular pen okay so that's that one then we've got these three hmm. my actual stand that's holding all this is getting in the way which is a bit annoying and I can't sort of get the book to do what I want it to do and get it in frame all right so this is the pilot decimo it's in the champagne pink finish Uh, 
has a medium nib and I just have an inch with a black cartridge at the moment that it came with. Next one. Is my Estabrook SD. It's in the sea glass with a medium nib and it is inked with Robert Oster Fire. And ice. It's another ink that I really love. It's a bit of a favourite. Last pen is this Pelican M400 in the white tortoise. White tortoise shell, I should say. has a fine nib on it and it is inked with Graf Von Faber Castell Moss Grey. So they're all my pens that I have currently inked. Um, as I said, some of them are left over from the end of December. So what did we have on the previous page? We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then over here, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So that's 22 currently inked pens that I will attempt to write dry this month. Um, I'm just going to zoom you out a bit. Um, that's better. So that's the pens that I have for this month that I'm going to try and use up. It's quite a few there, 22. Um, and we'll just see how I go. Um, what have you got inked up this month? How many pens have you got inked up for this month? Um, so let me know in the comments below. I hope wherever you are in the world um, that you're staying safe and you are well and having a good weekend um, thank you to everyone who has subscribed I really appreciate it and I hope to see you back here next time take care everyone bye